Hey, how's it going everybody? Today I need to explain the span and div tags in HTML. The span tag is an inline container to group elements for styling purposes. The div tag, it's very similar, except it's a block container to group elements for styling purposes. Here's an example. Let's create two H1 titles. This is a span title. Then close it. Let's copy this line of markup, then paste it. The second line will be this is a div title. I'm going to enclose my first sentence with a pair of span tags. So we need an opening span tag and a closing span tag somewhere. All right, with this set of span tags, we are enclosing this text within a container. It's an inline container. We can apply some CSS styling to the sentence, whatever is sandwiched between the pair of span tags. Let's change the background color of the title. I will set the style attribute to equal background dash color, then pick a color. How about red? Then a semicolon. There, so the background of my title is red. But you know what, that red is a little bright. Let's do tomato. I think that's a better color. Whatever is enclosed with a pair of span tags, we can apply some inline CSS styling to. Now with div, this creates a block level container. So I will surround this sentence with a pair of div tags, div meaning division. Let's apply that same styling. I'll copy my style attribute, paste it. Let's change the color to be maybe cyan. All right, here we are. This is a title using span. This is a title using div. Span is an inline container. Div is a block level container. It takes the entire width of my document. You can see that this is all blue. Let's create a pair of paragraph tags. This is a span sentence. Then close it. Let's copy this paragraph, paste it again, then change the second sentence to div. All right, let's enclose our first sentence with a pair of span tags. All right, I will set the style to be red. Well, tomato, tomato color, technically. It's kind of like we're highlighting the text much like the mark tags in the last topic. Let's copy this tag, change span to div, then the color, how about cyan? And then we need to close the div tag. There we are. All right, now let's create two large paragraphs. We need a pair of paragraph tags. In VS Code, to generate some sample text, you can type lorem, then tab. So I will copy this line, paste it again. Let's say after the first sentence, I would like to add a background color. So right here, I will add a span tag, an opening span tag. Then where would I like to close it? Let's do so before the closing paragraph tag. Then I will change the background color. All right, we have highlighted the second sentence. Let's do this with div tags now. With our next paragraph, let's create an opening div tag. Then we'll need to close it somewhere. Let's close it before the closing paragraph tag. And then I will change the background color. Within the opening div tag, I will set the background color to be cyan. What we have done is created a block level element for the second sentence within our paragraph. Basically speaking, we can use the span and div tags to group together HTML for styling purposes. Span is an inline container. Div is a block level container. We'll be using these more when we reach CSS. And well, everybody, those are the span and div tags in HTML.